Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will show you how to use the Mikasense camera on the Inspire Girl. Uh, it's going to be a three chapter, chapter video. In the first chapter we're going to discuss how to actually uh, mount the quick mount piece to the Mikasense camera. In the second part we're going to explain you how to build this uh, GPS and uh, spectrometer mount that you can install uh, very quickly and easily on your Inspire drone. And in the third step, uh, we're going to show you how it's all uh, connected to your drone. So uh, let's get right into it with the first step. Okay, so first step is of course unboxing the, the brand new MikaSense. Uh, so it's, it's really easy. You just unbox it, you open it, and inside you will find uh, the different pieces. So the first thing we're interested in is uh, the MikaSense camera itself. Um, so let's get it out and put the box aside here for a minute. Uh, second thing you should have received is uh, actually the, the bag with all the, uh, the pieces to actually mount it on your Inspire drone. So you can open the bag and get the pieces out. Uh, maybe take the box and uh, put your pieces inside of it. So that's really good. Like that. Okay. So you will need to collect uh, the different pieces, so what we're trying to achieve is, is this here, so I'll put it right here. So uh, some of the pieces we need is the, uh, the, the plexiglass cross, uh, we will need of course the uh, mount itself, uh, we will be needing uh, this piece, so there's a little bag with little screws, I'll take another box for that. Um, and then I think that's, that's it uh, for the first part. So uh, this piece is actually uh, requires two small screws, these ones. And you've got uh, four of them normally in your integration kit. So you take a small uh, cross screwdriver and then you screw them in. It's quite easy quite fast. Now, make sure you tighten them not too hard but certainly not too soft too. Like this. And then you give it the last little quarter. Great. Then uh, there are uh, these four screws that are uh, right, the right length. So four of these. Um, that you will have to put in this bit bigger screwdriver. Like that. So that shouldn't be all too difficult. Up to here we have no specific way of, of you can't make any mistakes. Uh, there's no specific direction you should work in. Uh, so that's done. And then finally you unscrew this one. And then you put it uh, like this. So when Mikasense, when you can read Mikasense uh, on top, it should uh, bend towards you. So you put it here and then uh, no, sorry, it's inverted. So, when you can read Mikasense, uh, you should screw it in with your right hand. So, you put the little piece and then you can only screw it from the right, like this. And then it's just a bit of screwing. And then uh, the next part, you have to bend this cable like that. trigger port um, and you just insert it in it and, and it's, it's, you can't put it in the wrong direction you have to check a bit but it will the, the port is made so that it will prevent you from putting it wrong so uh, once you've done that you're good to go everything is fine uh, this is part one of the video 
Okay, so in this part of the video, uh, we just finished building the um, MikaSense uh, to quick mount converter. So uh, as you can see here, uh, having a tough time focusing, but uh, you should end up with something uh, that's looking exactly like this. So uh, I hope you can see it well in the camera. Um, so that's that. In the second part of this video, we're gonna uh, build uh, this. This is the GPS and uh, irradiance meter uh, that's on top of your MikaSense. Um, and we received all the pieces in the integration bag uh, that came together with uh, the MikaSense. So let's get right into it. Uh, I have my uh, hardware pieces uh, right here. Um, so uh, we will start with the, the black aluminium pieces. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually uh, take this piece and then find uh, the long piece here, remove the uh, removable plastic protection. Uh, I think there's on both sides, not sure. Uh, so no, only on one side. And then you, you will have to screw this down and then uh, this one on top of it, together with the last plate here, which also has a uh, removable plastic. So we will start with actually putting this all down together. So you take the longest screws from the bag, uh, you put it inside. These are three long uh, cross screws. Um, and then you put, uh, you invert the bottom plate. So that you should have one plate like this and one plate like that, just like this. And then on the bottom you will add uh, this piece and you will align the, the, the points that go down uh, with the shorter end. So from a side view it would look like uh, this. I hope this is clear enough on the video. So and then it's just about uh, screwing it in. So that shouldn't be too hard. And then you actually have done already half of the work. <laughs> like this. Okay. So you check your screws. Everything seems to be screwed in just fine. Uh, in the next part, uh, in, your, uh, in your box, you will always have, always also have received uh, this little red thing. This is a... a a light sensor which will measure the, the, the light. Um, just as a reminder, it's always important with the uh, Mika Sense to fly when there is um, unchanging cloud cover. So you can have clouds, but they cannot change. You cannot have variating cloud cover. And this is something that compensates for that. But it's certainly not good enough that you can just fly in changing cloud conditions. So it's important that the arrow points towards the, the, the rounded area here, this, which is going to be the front of your drone. Uh, so later. So and then you take uh, an additional two small screws that you will have received. Uh, they're, the, they're the ones with the rounded off uh, top, I would say. Okay, I have just finished uh, screwing on the light sensor, like you see, with the, the two uh, hex bolts here and the screws uh, in the front. So now I have this assembly uh, and then I'm gonna actually um, attach the GPS uh, receiver on top of it. So the GPS receiver comes here. So you just uh, take the wire and you insert it in the, in the right underneath where is written CAM on your uh, light receiver. So like this. And then you take the GPS and you position it uh, like this. Okay, so now uh, it's about putting the GPS right here. So normally you should have received uh, some sterile uh, alcohol, so you can open that up. And then uh, basically you take the little sterile cloth, like this. You remove the GPS and you clean the plexi uh, mounting plate and uh, quickly also uh, the bottom of your GPS receiver. 
just to make sure um, it will glue uh, well with the, the, the 3M tape. So then you take, of course, the double sided tape like this. You remove one side, you glue it underneath the GPS receiver, you press and then you remove the second side like this and then you, uh, you glue them together and you uh, try to have the arrow as much as possible pointing forward so like this and then you just press it against it like this now you should have uh, finished the assembly oh no I'm forgetting no no this is it okay so you should have finished uh, the full assembly just check that everything is mounted correctly um, and then we're gonna uh, proceed with assembling it to the drone itself okay so in the third part of the video we're actually going to uh, take the two pieces we've created so the one with the Mika sense and the quick mount and the one with um, GPS receiver and the light receiver and mount them on our drone so the first thing to do is to uh, take yourself uh, a screwdriver so more specifically something like this and remove the, the two um, screws the top screws of your Inspire that came with the Inspire so this one this one keep them somewhere safe because uh, when you want to remove the Mika sense you're going to need them again so you remove the two screws and you keep them somewhere safe and you take the assembled uh, GPS part that we've built uh, earlier and it should fit perfectly on top of, on top of that and you take uh, the two uh, long screws that you got in the, in the kit so these are these uh, really longer screws you insert them carefully and you take a cross uh, screwdriver a Phillips screwdriver and you screw them in gently and then the next one just like that okay. the next thing you can do immediately after that is take the cable that came, comes out of the GPS and then push it through the top of your inspired drone like that and it should come out of the other uh, side and then you can insert one cable into the GPS port in the back and one cable into the Mac port so there's two connectors, one for each port, uh, the small one is the mag connector, the big one is the GPS connector. So I'm going to put them in real quick, like that. Okay, so once they're inside, your whole GPS part is done. The next part to do is uh, taking the MikaSense camera itself and mounting it uh, on the front of the drone. So, Make sure your, uh, your port is open, insert it with the cable coming out to the front. So there is a white line, but it's, uh, it's not good because that would get it inverted. So you have to have the cable coming out in front. And then you actually just close it up and it should hold just like a, a, any normal camera does. Uh, the next step after that is connecting actually the GPS to the Megasense. For this you will require one of the uh, cables you got with it. It's, uh, it's approximately 20 centimeters long and it plugs into the front uh, in the port that says CAM. So there is a port here in the front, it says CAM. I'm gonna plug it in really perfectly like that. Sometimes it's good to take uh, a screwdriver and press a bit to make sure it's really well fitted and then you will take the cable and fit it in the, uh, the other hole so one of the holes is already filled by the cable of the GPS but the left hole is not so you route it to the back and then back to the front like this and then you make it through the center like that and then you will connect it carefully in the port that says DLS GPS just like that no, it's inverted no, it was correct. 
it's good to check. It's good to always make sure you put these connectors in uh, properly because we don't actually uh, have any spare one. So, like this. Perfect. Okay, and then what you will require is a, a bit of a tape. Hop, here I got it. So, I'm back. <laughs> so, what you do is you take some tape, something like this. You try to center the cable really well, and then you just tape it like this, and then you should be fine. Important is to always uh, verify with the propellers and verify that it's not going to hit or cut the cable in any case. And also think about the fact that your drone will be transforming, so make sure uh, you're not hitting anything uh, while doing that. So the next important thing is positioning the camera. So you have a dial here, you can undial it and then you can actually rotate the camera respective to the drone. It shall be done uh, approximately 5 degrees uh, to the front and it's quite easy to control uh, if you have a, a, a smartphone, which I have right here, and then you go to your compass on, on, the, on the iPhone, for example, and then you have like this uh, level meter. So if you put your level meter right here somewhere, it should say 5 degrees. So now we're at 6 and if I rotate it just a bit, now we're at 5. This means you should be just fine. Always verify always that the camera looks fine. It should be 5 degrees to the front. Uh, and this is because when you will be flying, the drone will be flying slightly tilted forward. And this will make sure that the drone is, uh, the camera is positioned as level as possible with the ground. So five degrees uh, to the front. Uh, the drone is ready to go now. Um, so the next step is to program the Mikasense and uh, put fresh SD in. But that's for the next video.